feels like summer, but we're decorating for fall this yep. morning. Emily's live at Ashwaubenon with more. Good morning, Em. Morning, Rachel and Pete. Hi, everybody. I'm here with Nicole Leahy of Creations Galore in Ashwaubenon. And yeah, we're decorating for fall. And with fall comes Halloween. We have some fun, spooky ideas for you. Let's yeah. start with banners, Nicole, that yes. are really popular right now. Absolutely. Tell me about this one and how you made it. This one is extremely simple. I just went with uh, a rectangle and some letters. And you can use fabric. Burlap is really popular as well, or pattern paper. We went the, with the Halloween theme. And then you could enlist the kids to cut out uh, letters to create any type of um, word to celebrate the holiday. We just went with the word spooky. We have all the tools here in the store too that you could cut these out. And then just created some faux stitching with a white pen over the top punched two holes and then strung it up. I was so amazed. I'm like, that's mm -hmm. not real. You're like, nope, I just went around with a pen. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it looks awesome. Yes. And you have some yeah. cutout bats that are on the wall Yes, here. we have some cutout bats, which too, we have the template here in the store. You can create them in any size. I think this would be fantastic to create a whole wall or the entrance to your house if you're having a party. Really cool. Mm -hmm. Some goodie bags. And we have yes. a brown bag that we're going to use for these bad boys. Yes, How are we going to put need. this one together? This one, you're just going to cut off most of the bag to make it smaller. These would be really great favors. And then, of course, punches is something that we absolutely love here. This is just a fun fence. And all you're going to do is just you're going to actually put it together, oh. put it right in there, okay. and just punch. And if you continued along the edge, you'd end up with a really um, nice fence. And then we just created little gravestones and filled it up with any form of black candy, which you could use. Uh, raisinets or raisins. This is black licorice. That is so yeah, cool. For fun favors. One thing that's interesting, these are individual stamps, but what did you do to keep it together? Yeah, rather than stamping them, um, just do it all at once with a rubber band and it creates one stamp and then it's perfectly lined oh, up. Cool. And then this really quick, how did you create this? This, um, we just took another paper bag, really simple, and cut straight down all the way to the base. Um, and used sticks just from the front yard to create a witch's broom. Go outside, take a nice walk, mm -hmm. have some sticks. This is my favorite. A little countdown. Yes, we just decorated a eight and a half by 11 frame. And then because it's a frame, it becomes a dry erase board that you can easily count down the days until trick or treating time. And I'll put a little, I'll put a smiley yeah. face on him too because he's excited. <laughs> he's excited for Halloween. Some really cool ideas, Nicole. Thank you so much. We're going to have more ideas too in the 6 o'clock hour. You won't want to miss that. Some other yes. fun banner ideas and everything. You can go to our website to learn more about Creations Galore. We'll send it back to you.